Hey everyone, it's your XOXO Cloudy Fidgets, and today I'll be letting you guys know how I made all of my cardboard skincares as well as answering some frequently asked questions. To start off, ever since I made my most recent haul video, I now have 21 DIY cardboard skincares in total. And these are all of the cardboard skincares where I have a full tutorial on on my YouTube channel. And all of them will be put in my DIY cardboard skincare playlist linked at the end of this video. And now onto these moisturizer skincares. What I really like about them is that the pump part actually works, just like the real ones. And for those who have commented wondering how to push these flowers back, all you have to do is first lift up the pump a little bit and just push it down. The same works for this one too. And these are all the miniature cardboard skincares I've made. And you can also find how I made them in my 24 hour challenge video. And these are all the cardboard skincares where I'm still working on the tutorials for. And in today's video, I'll be letting you guys know how I made them all. And let's start off with this DIY Glow Recipe Toner. I've gotten many questions of what the plastic film I used here is, and you can find this type of plastic in takeout containers, recycled bottles, and of course, plastic film from packagings. And I made the inside and the lid with colored paper, along with a tube of plastic and swirls of hot glue around it. And last but not least, I wrote the label with a pen and taped it on. Next, moving on to this body cream inspired by Sol de Janeiro. So here's what it looks like when you open it, and I have air dry clay on the inside. So I made this lid with cardboard and also drew the labels on it. Here's what it looks like. And on the inside, I hot glued them together. Then for the base, and I've actually made it by rolling a piece of cardboard. And I've also added air dry clay on the base to give this rounded base. Here's what it looks like on the side, and I've also painted everything with acrylic paint. And here is what everything looks like once you put them together. Now moving on to the DIY Dewdrops inspired by Glow Recipe. For this one, I also made the base with air dry clay and then painted over it. The lid is also made out of cardboard. And so is the top two piece. They're just two rolls of cardboard and also rolled a little peak here. And the cool thing about it is that it actually pumps. And this is because once you take the top piece off, I filled the inside which was empty before with stuffing. And this is the stuffing I've used. It's the type of stuffing that you can use to make stuffed animals, and it's called polyfill. And because I added stuffing, it is really bouncy, so it can bounce the pump part back up. So once you put on this pump, it starts working. And now moving on to this cardboard drunk elephant face oil. I've made everything here with either paper or cardboard. So here's what it looks like. And you can also twist off the cap. So for the base, it's four pieces of cardboard along with one at the bottom and one with a hole at the top. And this again is a plastic tube I've made at the top. And it's pretty similar to this glow recipe one. And now for the top part, it's one roll I've made with cardboard and another roll on top. And this one is just a little plastic straw along with another small piece of plastic that I place inside the straw to make it look like a little drop. And now, moving on to how I made this bronzer drop. The sides here again are all made of cardboard. You can take the lid off, and this is what the lid looks like. I made all the sides using cardboard and then covered it using the sticker paper. Then onto this bottle, I wrote everything here with a pen and a marker. And the top part is actually a tip from a squeeze bottle that I cut off and hot glued it on. And my favorite part about this cardboard skincare is that when you tilt it down and squeeze it, the product, well, fake product actually comes out. And this is because the inside here is actually hollow. And I made this tip part with a long piece of cardboard, along with a wide piece of cardboard attaching it on the inside. So when you tilt it over, the long piece of cardboard blocks it from the sides, and this little piece doesn't actually fall out. And this is what it looks like. You can put the lid on, and here it is. And now moving on to this Rare Beauty Inspired Cardboard Blush. This part is from the same type of plastic I've used from the Glow Recipe bottle. And it's a similar concept since the inside is also made out of paper. Then you can also open the blush and take out the applicator. So here's the applicator. I made this part with cardboard and here as well. And I just wrapped it over with some gold sticker paper. And now on to the applicator. I've gotten a lot of questions on how I made this part. So as mentioned before, I have this polyfill stuffing. I took a little piece and hot glued it in a little circle, where I then hot glued it on top of here. And for the shape, I just used a pair of scissors and trimmed it. And you can color everything here with acrylic paint or nail polish to enhance the applicator texture. And here's what it looks like up close. 
And I've seen a comment saying that you can also use a Q-tip if you don't have polyfill and I definitely recommend it as well. And now I've got many questions of how I made this. And for the base here, I just made everything out of cardboard as usual, then roll everything with a pen and markers. And now for this part. Since you can also twist this part up a little, just like the real product. And for here, if I take it apart, I made this part as the base. And I know it's pretty rough since I'm still trying to find the best way to make it for a tutorial in the future. So basically, I trimmed the side going this way and then on the other side, another one as well. And this is what it looks like. Then for the top part is two separate pieces I made with cardboard. One is the blue square piece around and one is a little blue square piece in the middle. And now on the bottom, this is the middle blue square piece and the outer one, I just attached a little circle. And a toothpick in the middle. And I've also cut out a little rectangle here and here so that this part can move up and down. And once you place this piece together, the idea is to have this path on the cardboard to guide this toothpick. So the blue square in the middle can move up and down once I twist it. And once you place it back, it's something like this. And now, last but not least, is this lip oil. So how I made this, including the applicator, is really similar to my previous lip oil tutorial, which again will be linked in my tutorials playlist at the end of this video. And instead, what I did differently here is cut out two squiggly shape of plastic for the front and the back. And I just taped a sheet of colored paper in the back for the pretend lip oil part. And here's what it looks like. But overall, I really hope this video was helpful, especially if you're thinking on making your own cardboard skincares. But anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching, and comment which skincare I should make next. And again, I might be doing a face reveal if we hit 1 million, so feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!